Good morning. Um, Monday morning, I'm in my studio finishing off um, a little assemblage piece that I started about two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, and then just got caught up with summertime activities. So I'm just now getting back to it and finishing it off, and I want to show you how I'm going to finish this little piece off. It's obviously inspired by the beach. Um, let me see if I can turn this over. Got my little beach footprint in there with a map. Um, I like to cover the backs of my pieces and completely finish them off. I don't know where I got this little little box. Uh, looks like it had little dividers in here. So I kind of want to cover those up. Um, but let me first show you what inspired me for this beach piece. Was this little gal that's inside, tucked in, was a postcard that I got uh, from my daughter-in-law actually sent me this in a stack of postcards and I loved it and I thought, ha, huh, perfect, summertime. Summertime bathing suit beauty. So that's what I'm, I'm doing and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna finish it off. I am, have cut some glass pieces that I will be hopefully slipping onto here. And to cover up the edges, I've made, and also to cover up these little little uh, grooves for something to slide in there, I don't want those to show. So here was my plan. I'm covering some balsa wood. Balsa wood, which is so easy to uh, cut, just with a little blade, it cuts really easy. And then I take a piece of sandpaper and just set it down on a flat surface and kind of square up my ends so I can work with them. And then I cover them with paper. Uh, and then I will glue it all into place. This will be covered with paper. And hopefully it's all gonna fit perfectly together and this, was, this will be how my box will end up looking. So, first things first, let's take these guys off. Um, easy thing is I have some printed papers that I made with my jelly, uh, jelly plate and my little piece of balsa wood. You can pick up at any craft store, actually Home Depot or Michael's is where I go for mine. And I've got some natural pH adhesive glue. You could use Elmer's glue or any kind of glue that you want. Um, any kind of white glue is fine. And let's see, is my white glue gonna come out? Yeah. Just mush that around a bit. Let's get it here on the ends as well. And then I kind of slide my little piece of balsa wood so it gets it all spread out nicely. And then easily just wrap it. Smooth it down as you go. Make sure you have a nice clean corner. Oops. Pull your little wrinkles out if you have them and work it as you go. I might have a little bit too much glue there. It's making it a little slippery. There, pretty easy. Then I take my X-Acto knife. Just run it down the edge. scissors, cut the ends, cut them so that you can actually wrap them um, around the end and you don't have a lot of excess. So I just take it and put a little squirt of glue right in there inside and make sure you have glue on each of the little folds so they stay in. Come on, there we go. Let's 
smoosh it out nice and flat. I'm not doing the best job of this. Nice little end. Same down here. Make sure you've got <clears throat> enough glue to fill in those little layers and make sure they all stick. Let's pull that one back and get the glue off my fingers. And that'll be perfect. Make sure that your edge is, is stuck down. It looks like I didn't get enough in there. And the glue, of course, dries clear, so not to worry about that. It's not going to show. And then smooth it all out. Make sure everything is down nice and tight. And there you go. And I've got one little rough edge here, but that's not a big deal because I can lay that side down. Now set that aside and let it um, dry. Get the glue off my fingers. Lid back on my glue. Get this guy's out of the way. Now the next thing I'm going to do is make sure that your glass is clean. Maybe I want to lay piece of paper towel there, just so I don't get any glue on my glass. Glass cleaner, clean your glass because this, you know, once you get it glued down, you're not going to be able to go back and do this. You're not going to be able to go out and get all those, get the smudge. There's nothing more frustrating than getting a piece of glass glued down and everything set and looking at it the next day and seeing there's a smudge inside your assemblage piece that you cannot get out. Now, because it's all glued down. Okay, there's one piece. That's going to go right there. It's probably a little overdue for my glass cleaner. Let's see, is that clean? That seems to be pretty clean. Now get these guys laid out where you want them. Um... I think that's it. I think that's where I want it. And then, let's see, we're gonna take, check it out and make sure that you have all your smudges out. Because it never fails, you'll go back and there'll be a smudge or a piece of lint. Um, that, like right there, I just got a piece of glue. A piece of glue. Am I clear? <coughs> I think that's good. There we go. We got this piece. That piece of glass might be slightly too big, but I think we're going to be okay with it. All right. My E6000, my favorite glue to use, but it seems to always get a blob in it. So I wanna make sure that, I, it doesn't take much to hold the glass. That's probably gonna be way too much. So let me wipe some of that off. Uh, Cause I don't want any of my glue showing up. And I'm just kind of going to the, each corner where I knew, know the glue is gonna sit. Maybe one right there. Because these little glue spots are going to be covered up by the balsa, wrapped balsa wood that I'm putting down. Let's put a little extra one there. 
and I realize I pushed that out of the way so you can't see what I'm doing. I'm just putting little dots at each of the intersections where the glass will be. There won't be glass here because these two pieces stick out too far beyond. So I had to cut the glass. Whoops, piece of glue. Ah, hate it when that happens. Um, I had to cut the glass in two different pieces because I was leaving that little section out. And be really careful as you're going because you're, you are working with glass, sharp edges. So you don't want to cut yourself. Ah, yeah, got it. Okay. Now I want to make sure these two pieces fit together. Set it down on there. The glue will give you a few minutes to work. Whoops. Well, you know I would set it down the wrong way. This little tiny piece is giving me problems. There. Wipe off all your excess. Make sure that you've got it lined up where you want it. Okay, now we do have little splotches of glue, but hopefully that is all gonna be covered up. Now, while I'm letting that set for a minute, um, and if you get smudges on the outside, you're good, as long as you've got the inside cleaned off so that you can come back, you can easily wipe off these outside edges. It's the inside edges that, you know, will be locked in for time, for the length, the, the life of the piece. I know that this uh, is time consuming, but I think I got a smudge on the inside there. I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, so now let's take these guys and line them up and one for the top. And I'm hoping I measured these all out and then measured again. So I'm hoping that they fit properly. The tricky one is gonna be down here because there's glass thickness here, but not here. But I think it's not enough to worry about. And this is going to cover up those little ridges that go back into the piece. There. I think that ought to do it. And then you do the same process with, with the glue. Now, I'm not going to glue this down just to make sure that um, I have everything in place. Actually, maybe I will. Let's take it, that's the back side. Let's take this side and let's put our glue. Now make sure you only put small little spots of glue on so that you don't have these big blobs that are gonna squish out. when you put it down. So this guy is gonna fit right here. Making sure he's lined up. You wanna make sure um, that you definitely cover your pieces of glass, the edges of the glass. Uh, so whoever ends up with this piece doesn't get a little slice on their hand when they go to pick it up. Then I would put in these pieces, the little side pieces, to make sure that they are going to fit tightly. If I put this piece on and then this piece on, these in the center may not fit right. So I'm gonna set 
the little center pieces up first and then plop the top piece on after. And that way I can take up any um, gaps that are there. So you got that. Okay. And this was that rough edge. I'm just going to put that on the underside. No one ever be the wiser. This has a little bit too much glue on it. So I want to make sure that doesn't pop out. That nice and lined up. And with the E6000, the glue can slip a little bit. So make sure that while it's setting up, you kind of keep an eye on your piece. Come back and check on it every few minutes, like every five, ten minutes, to make sure things haven't slid out of place. And now I can slide this guy right down, cover my glass, make any adjustments I need to make. Press it all down. I'm going to make sure that top piece is covered. Wipe off any excess glue. Of course, that's going to dry clear, but you know you don't want little glue blobs all over. There, I think that's good. Although I do keep fussing with it. shoot. Now, I just got some little blobs on the glass down here. I'm not going to worry about that because while the glue's wet, if I try to fuss with it, I'm going to smear it all over the glass. So I'll wait till it's dry and I'll come back with a little razor blade and scrape that off. Okay, so there you go. That little, that little piece is done. As far, I think that little piece is done. So, but what I did want to also show you is to take the mystery out of glass cutting. Um, it's pretty easy to do. Seems like a scary thing because it's glass, but not so scary. Um, here I have another little piece I just started working on. It is a, um, oh, it's a, a Apple TV box. The Apple boxes, of course, are really great because they have... They've already got little compartments figured out for you. This piece will be really easy to do, uh, to cut because it's, you know, the size is pretty straightforward. So what I do is I will find my squarest corner, lay it on there, and, and you might want to give yourself just a little touch of uh, room to, uh, Make, uh, to fit it perfectly because the box isn't going to be perfect and if you cut measure and cut the exact size sometimes it's just a little bit too big in one corner so I leave, like to leave a little bit of error uh, margin for error that's what I'm looking for so I'm just going to take my sharpie let's go down this way first okay I've got my line I've got my little, my little um, glass cutter, and it actually comes, I like this one, it comes with oil, um, and I can just put a little bit of oil in there, put my lid back on, and I love this gla glass cutter, it does, does it perfect every time. So, I line this up. now. I'm kind of, I don't know if you can see this, but here is the center poise for, point for my glass cutter. So I want to line that up with my line and very simply press down and that's all you need to do. Let's hope that's all you need to do. Then I take it, I turn the glass away from me and it just snaps. It's that easy. It is totally that easy. I thought it was going to be hard, but it is not. So now we got that. Which way was that? That's going to go... 
this way. And I actually think I may have cut that a little too small. But let's try it this way because I, I do already have a piece of perfect glass cut for this. And it'll drop right in there when I'm ready to push it in all the way. It's already got the little the little side buildups to hold the glass. Haven't decided what I'm going to put down inside there. But um, mainly, I just wanted to show you how to cut the glass, how easy it is. Because it seems like it would be a scary thing. And it's not. So if that goes that way. slide this way. Let's bring this one. Let's give this a try and see if I can get it somewhat close. I just realized I also had a piece cut and covered to put right in there, uh, right across here, and I'm not seeing that on my work table. So, um, I will be cutting and putting a piece right in there too to finish that off so I don't have have that glass that glass edge just sitting there. Okay, here we go again. Glass cutter, line it up. And it's just the scratch that you're making that makes the glass cut so easily. Now is that gonna work? Now that one's a little bit too big. I overshot it. When, once you cut it too big, if it's slightly too big, it's kind of hard to, to fix that. And it's you can't really go back and just s trim off a sliver. So this will go back into my glass pile, as will this, because I know I can use it for something else. And as I've already shown you, I already have a piece of glass that will be going into this piece. And I'm not sure how this little guy is going to turn out yet. I have the glass cut for it. I still have to cover the box. I have this fun little um, bird that's going to go up on top of here. Obviously, it's going to have some kind of an animal theme um, going on. haven't decided yet. But... When I do finish it, I'll, I'll be sure to show you. For now, I'm going to try to find this little piece, and hopefully that helps you see how to finish off um, a piece of, uh, another way to finish off a piece of assemblage. So give it a try, and uh, give me a few seconds, a few minutes, and I'll come back with the finished piece. Thanks for watching.